Would you like to play a driving game? Not really. I always lose. I know. That's why it's fun. <laughs> How about license plates with prime numbers followed by a constant? Why don't we just talk? Very well. You understand that some people are going to be intimidated by you because of how smart you are? Or maybe they'll recognize my intellect and make me their leader. Lord, look after my son. Don't let him get stuffed in a gym bag. Oh, dear. Yeah. That boy has an exposed tattoo. He does. I wonder if he knows that's in violation of the dress code. Speaking of which, how about we lose the bow tie? Why? Look around, honey. None of the other kids are wearing one. Well, perhaps I'll start a fad. No, you won't. Please trust mommy. All right, tell you what. You take it off, and this weekend, I'll take you to Radio Shack. Hmm? Okay? I guess. I smell ammonia. They must have done a thorough cleaning recently. I like that. And remember, if anybody bothers you, what do you say? My dad's a football coach. And? My brother's a football player. Good. Hey, Mom, look, that girl's pregnant. Congratulations. Well, that was revolting. Right. This is your homeroom. Do you want me to go in with you? No. Although I could have used you in the restroom. OK, well, you have a good day, and I'll pick you up after school, same door we came in. Are you crying or having an allergy attack? Allergies. It's probably the ammonia. Probably. <laughs> OK, let the learning begin. All right, everybody. My name is Ms. McElroy. In addition to being your homeroom teacher, I'll be seeing some of you in my English class and some of you on the volleyball court. Just to give you a little history, I've been here at Medford for 29 years. I taught some of your older brothers and sisters and, sadly, some of your parents. Not much I haven't seen until today. I'm sure you're well aware we have a student with us who, despite his young age, is remarkably gifted. And I expect y'all to make him feel welcome. Yes, Sheldon? Per the student dress and grooming code, this boy's hair is too long. This boy is wearing sports attire outside of a designated area, and this girl's blouse is diaphanous, which means I can see her brassiere. <laughs> Thank you. I will take that into account. All right. We have a few minutes before first period. I need y'all to fill out these forms. What? Also in violation of the grooming code on page 48, article 5, subsection B, you have a bit of a mustache. <laughs> this is a stupid idea. This boy does not belong in our school. Come on, Vicky. It's just the first day. Why don't we all just take a deep breath here? The hell with that. Five minutes into my math class, he questioned my credentials. How am I supposed to control a classroom when a kid accuses me of being in breach of the hygiene code? Well, Hubert, it wouldn't kill you to shower a little more often. George, you want to weigh in here? Well? Oral Roberts University is a wonderful school. He said I